What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the head movement conditioning workout. For a lot of boxers, head movement uses up a lot of energy. It can be very tiring and taxing. So we are gonna spend some extra time working on it in this workout so that we can be more prepared and ready so that it doesn't become such a big use of energy in our boxing. We are more efficient, faster, more able to move our head and counter and be ready and keep our energy flowing high and keep our stamina going as best we can. In this workout, we have 10 different combos or drills that we are focusing on and we are gonna work this over six rounds. By the time you're done, you will have done 300 head movements. To put in 300 head movements in a workout is actually more than most boxers will do, so we're pushing it here. But if you want even more of a challenge, you can check out the membership where I have two other head movement conditioning workouts, one that's 500 head movements and one that is 1,000 head movements. So if you really want to challenge yourself, I'll leave those links down below and you can go and check those out. Let's go over the combos really quick and then we'll get into the workout. The first combo in each set is one, two with two slips. So you'll throw the jab and the straight right hand or obviously the jab and the straight left if you're southpaw and then move your head twice. You'll slip to the outside. If Let's say if you're orthodox, you go one, two, then you slip to the right and to the left. But if you wanna slip left and right, that's fine with me. We just focus on working the head movement. So it'll be one, two with two slips, and then you'll work that. And then in between, you'll move, and I'll call it again. I'm gonna call each one of these combos twice, and I'll call it again. One, two with two slips. So you'll throw it and work the two head movements. We're building in the head movement into the combos. Next combo will be two, three with two slips. So right hand lead hook, two, three with two slips, two punches, and then you move the head. Okay, and so by the time you're done each of these two, let's say the first one we call twice in a row, that's four head movements. And then we do this one twice in a row, that's four more head movements. Each round, each section, we're gonna to get to about 48 head movements, and then at the end, we'll have a little bonus uh, to cover up that difference so we can get to 300. Next combo, one, pull, two, and then head movement. So you'll throw the jab, you'll pull to avoid a counter, you'll come back with your own counter, the right hand, and then you'll move your head again. One, pull, two, head movement. And then we work it a couple times. Next combo, one, two, pull, three, head movement. So you throw the jab, the right hand, jab straight right, pull, you'll counter with the hook. After the pull, you move your head again, and we work that one twice in a row. One, two, pull, three, head movement. Now, if you don't get all these combos down the first time through, that's okay. First time through, you might just wanna get the feel for it and work through it. Then the second or third time through this workout, that's when you really start to pick it up and work these combos fast. Next combo, one, two with two ducks. So you throw the jab right hand and duck and then duck back. As you can see, we're keeping the combos as simple as possible so you can focus more on the head movement, but we wanna integrate it with the punches because that's how your boxing is going to be executed most of the time. So again, it'd be one, two with two ducks. You throw the jab right hand and duck and then duck back. Next one, maybe you can see it coming. Two, three with two ducks. Right hand lead hook, then duck, then duck. All right, and we'll work that one twice in a row. Two, three with two ducks. And you work it again. That's right, very simple combos. I'm gonna call them out and you'll have a little bit of time to work them. Next, it's slip and counter. So you can slip any direction you want and you counter with any punch you want. So it's kind of a little bit structured but also as well open and freestyle. Slip and counter. Slip left, throw the jab, or throw the lead hook, or uppercut, slip right, throw the right hand. You can even slip right and throw the jab. Whatever's working for you, and work four of those. So I'll say slip and counter, and then you work it, then you move. And then slip and counter, and I'll call two, and then we'll call up to four. Next is pull counter. So you'll move back, make sure to keep the chin down, eyes looking forward, and then you'll counter back with something. And then you move. And then we'll work it again, pull, counter. We'll work four of those in a row. Next one, it'll be random punches, and this is going to be a little bit different. I'm gonna call out the punch being thrown at you, 
and you have to move your head in a way that you would want to evade it. So whatever way you like to evade a certain shot, you work your head movement that way. So I'll say jab, and then you move your head. And then I'll say right hand, and move your head. Then you can imagine an orthodox, or you can imagine a southpaw. And if you're not sure what to imagine, then just try to think it out. How would you evade the jab? How would you evade the right hand? How would you evade the lead hook? So it'll go jab. And then right hand, and lead hook, uppercut, overhand, and that would be five, but I'm going to call 10 of them, and you're going to evade 10 punches by what I call is what the opponent is throwing at you. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just work the head movement that you would work. Final one, we are working footwork with head movement. So I'll say circle the opponent with ducks, and we start moving to the right. Moving to the right, circling. The opponent throws the big hook and you duck and you keep moving. And then you keep going out and you duck again and you keep moving. And then you duck again, you keep moving. And I'll say switch and you start moving the other direction to the left. And I'll say one, then you duck. And two, then you duck. And three, and you duck. So it'll be six ducks, three to the right while moving, three to the left. Being able to move your head while moving is also another important skill with head movement. Once we work through all those combos, all of those sets, you'll have done 48 head movements for that section. For them, we're gonna work that section, we're gonna work this. You'll get a minute rest, about a minute rest, and then we're gonna work this six times for six sets. Then at the end, we'll still have some head movement to go, so I'm gonna call out a bonus 30 second freestyle. So for 30 seconds, you'll just move your head and punch. Move your head and punch like a flow. Maybe with footwork. Just anything you want, whatever comes to mind. We're just going to get in that little bonus, and we will get our way to 300 head movements. Okay, let's get started. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect the first time through. Just do your best. After a few times, you'll be smooth and in the groove, I guarantee you. All right. Ready for the first set? Let's get started. All right, ready. Time in. One, two with two slips. That's it, looking forward, moving. Again, one, two with two slips. Great work, great work. Looking forward, hands up, chin down. Two, three with two slips. Again, go, two, three with two slips. Make those head movements quick. Stay in a flow, quick but still full, complete movements. Next combo. One, pull, two, head movement. Let it sink in what you're going to do and then execute. Doesn't have to be full speed first time through, but if you're here after a few times, push it a little bit harder. One, pull, two, head movement. There you go. Good work, good work. One, two, pull, three, head movement. So after that one, two, pull, you're a little bit more squared up. You counter with the lead hook. This is more of a Canelo style pull, you're a little bit square. One, two, pull, three, head movement. Nice work. Moving, moving, breathing. One, two, with two ducks. Move in between. One, two, with two ducks. Excellent work, excellent work. Two, three, with two ducks. That's it, we're moving on to the next one. Two, three with two ducks. There it is. There it is. Okay, get ready for slip and counter. Ready? Slip and counter. Whatever comes to mind, whatever you want to work. Again, slip counter. Work it, then move. Slip counter. That's the third one. Slip counter. That's the fourth one. Excellent. Moving, moving. Pull counter. Here we are, working the pull. Next one, pull counter. Two more to go, two more to go. Work it, moving, make sure the chin is down. Looking forward, pull counter. And pull counter. Great work, great work. Okay, circle the opponent, moving to the right. Ready, duck. And then another one, two, that's your second duck. 
Keep moving. Three. That's your third duck. Now switch. Moving back to the left. Moving, moving, moving. Looking forward. One. Two. Three. All right, good. Settle in, relax, moving easy. Now we're gonna go out, call out the random punches. Finish off the round. I'm gonna call 10 punches. You move your head to evade them any way that works for you. Don't be in a rush. Quick, but don't be in a rush. Ready, jab. Right hand. Okay, once it registers, then slip quick, but then relax and refocus. Lead hook. Uppercut. Lead hook. Overhand. Jab. Right hand. Lead hook. Uppercut. And time. Nice work, nice work. That is the first set down. We're gonna work five more sets just like that. Really work the head movement, get in that extra little bit. For now, just breathe and relax, recover. Get ready for the second set. Don't worry if you didn't get it all perfect the first time through. You are going to improve and work on it and smooth it out as you go. Okay, re relax and recover. Breathe. Second set coming up. Here we go, let's get ready for the second set. Time in. One, two, with two slips. Again, one, two, with two slips. There it is, there it is, nice work. Move, move, breathing. Two, three, with two slips. Solid work, solid work. Again, two, three, with two slips. There it is, there it is. One, pull, two, head movement. You jab, you pull back to evade the counter, then you counter back, two, and then you move your head again, just in case. Again, go, one, pull, two, head movement. There we are, there we are. Next one, one, two, pull, three, head movement. Yes, fantastic, fantastic. Again, one, two, pull, three, head movement. Fantastic work. Next one. One, two with two ducks. There we go, there we go. Again, one, two with two ducks. Moving, moving, breathe. Two, three with two ducks. Settle in and work it. Again, two, three with two ducks. There you go. Next one, ready, slip counter. Make sure you're looking forward, make sure you're breathing. Slip counter. That's the second one down, two more to go, moving in between. Slip counter. And slip counter. There we are, there we are, moving. Coming up, we have the pull counter. Let's work four of those in a row. Ready, pull counter. Make sure you get some nice range. Don't rush it. Good sway in the body. Evade the punch. Pull counter. That's the second one. Pull counter. Great work, great work. Pull counter. There we go, there we go. Okay, circling the opponent. Move to the right. Ready, one. Two. Three, switch left, move in the other direction. One, two, three. Nice work with the movement. Okay, settle in, 10 punches coming at you. You're gonna evade them. This is what the opponent is throwing. Ready, jab, jab, right hand. Left hook. 
Uppercut. Jab. Overhand. Overhand. Uppercut. Lead hook. And time. Second set down. Excellent work. Hopefully you're more in the groove, challenging yourself, working that head movement. This might be more than you're used to, and that's good. That's good for you. It's opportunity for growth, opportunity to improve, to challenge yourself, and do something a little more than you normally would in your training. Not always doing what's comfortable, but doing things that challenge you in new ways. Okay, recover and relax. And get ready. Round three coming up. All right, you guys, let's get ready. Keep working the head movement. We are gonna start round three. Ready, time in. One, two, with two slips. You know what to do, you work it. Looking forward, breathing. One, two, with two slips. Two, three, with two slips. That's right, next combo, we move on to it, we go. Two, three, with two slips. Punch, punch, movement, movement. head movement, head movement. Punch, punch, slip, slip. Next combo. One, pull, two, head movement. Work it, work it, good range. Looking forward. One, pull, two, head movement. There you go, there you go. Next combo. One, two, pull, three, head movement. And again, go. One, two, pull, three, head movement. Nice work, next combo. One, two with two ducks. And again, go, one, two with two ducks. Most important thing when you're duck, when you duck is still to look forward. You don't necessarily have to see the eyes of the opponent or the head or the, the neck, but you do want, you don't want to look down at the ground. Make sure you're looking forward. Ready, next one. Two, three with two ducks. Of course, with no one in front of you, you will see the ground way far ahead of you, but just don't look down at the ground in front of you. Ready, go again. Two, three with two ducks. Now moving on to slip counter. Ready, slip counter. That's one. Slip counter. That's it, you work it. Slip counter. Good, next one, final one, slip counter. Nice. Ready, next one, pull counter. There we are, great work. Pull counter. Two more to go. Pull counter. Final one, pull counter. Nice work, circling, moving to the right. Ready, one, keep going, two, keep going, three, switch back left, and one, two, three, all right, nice work, ready, facing forward, random punches coming your way, jab, right hand, Right hand. Lead hook. Uppercut. Overhand. Jab. Right hand. Uppercut. Jab. And time. Solid work. Three rounds down. You are halfway there. Great work. Breathe, relax, get a sip of water if you need it. We'll get ready for the second half. Round four coming up.
Here we are. Let's get ready for round four. We are in the groove, working hard. Let's keep pushing it. We have a few more rounds to go. Ready, time in. One, two, with two slips. Moving, moving, breathing. One, two, with two slips. Two, three, with two slips. That's it, you just work it, you go. Two, three, with two slips. One, pull, two, head movement. Yes, there we are. Again, go. One, pull, two, head movement. Excellent. One, two, pull, three, head movement. Nice work. Again, go. One, two, pull, three, head movement. Next combo. One, two, with two ducks. Make sure you get low enough on those ducks. Nothing too crazy, but at least a good six to eight inches of depth. Again, one, two, with two ducks. Two, three, with two ducks. There you go, there you go. Working it. Two, three, with two ducks. Excellent, ready to slip and counter, ready. Slip and counter. Moving, moving, breathing, looking forward. Chin down, slip counter. Again, slip counter. And again, slip counter. Great work, great work. Now moving on to pull counter. Ready, pull counter. That's one. Get some good range, smooth, smooth with speed. Pull counter. That's two. Pull counter. That's three. Pull counter. Nice work, there we are. Okay, moving to the right, circling. Ready, one. Two. Three. Switch directions. Moving to the left. One. Two. Three. All right, pause. Holding your place, holding your place, focus forward. Random punches coming at you. Jab. Right hand. Lead hook. Lead hook. Jab. Overhand. Uppercut. Right hand. Uppercut. Lead hook. And time. There we are. Four rounds down. Excellent work. Take some time to breathe, recover, and relax. All right, you guys, let's get ready to start round five. We are on our way there, working towards the finish line. Time in. One, two, with two slips. One, two, with two slips. Two, three, with two slips. Two, three, with two slips. One, pull two, head movement. One, pull two, head movement. That's it, you're in the groove, you know it, you know it. One, two, pull three, head movement. Just call another combo and you're ready, you're ready to go. One, two, pull three, head movement. 
Next one, one two with two ducks. And again, go, one two with two ducks. Excellent. Next one, two three with two ducks. Two three with two ducks. Gray, gray, you're responsive, you're ready. Here comes slip counter. Go, slip counter. Again, slip counter. And slip counter. And again, slip counter. Nice work, nice work. Ready, next one, pull counter coming up. Go, pull counter. Pull counter. Again, pull counter. And again, pull counter. Start moving. Circling, circling to your right, let's go. And one. Two. Three. Switch back left. One. Two. Three. Excellent, excellent. Okay, settle in. Ten punches coming your way from the opponent. Ready? Jab. Jab. Right hand. Right hand. Uppercut. Lead hook. Overhand. Jab. Right hand. Right hand. And time. Great work, great work. Five rounds down. One more round to go to finish off this workout. Relax, recover, get a sip of water, relax your shoulders, breathe, and we'll get ready for the final round. All right, you guys, let's get ready to knock down this final round. We'll push the pace a little bit. I'll call the combos and you just go. Ready, time in. One, two, with two slips. One, two, with two slips. Make sure you move in between, looking forward and breathing. Two, three, with two slips. Two, three, with two slips. One, pull two, head movement. One, pull two, head movement. Moving, moving. One, two, pull three, head movement. One, two, pull three, head movement. Next one, ready to go. One, two, with two ducks. That's it, clean. One, two with two ducks. Punch smooth, fast, looking forward. Two, three with two ducks. Two, three with two ducks. Next one, slip counter. And again, slip counter. Slip counter. And a fourth one, slip counter. Excellent, here we are, next one. Pull counter. You got it, you got it. Pull counter. Pull counter. And the final one, pull counter. There we are, there we are. Circling to the right, go. One. 
two, three, moving back to your left, one, two, three, all right, settle in, facing forward, 10 punches coming your way, jab, jab, Right hand. Lead hook. Uppercut. Uppercut. Overhand. Lead hook. Jab. Right hand. All right, that's time, but we still got a little bit more to go. 30 seconds. You're just gonna work your head movement into a flow. Punch, move your head. Move your head and punch. It can be continuous or in little combos. Ready. Time in. Go. Let's work it. Move the head. Punch. Punch. Move the head. Move your feet. Then punch. Move the head. Head movement with footwork together. Put it together. Any direction you want. Ducking. Move it to the left. Move it to the right. Work it. Work it. Stay busy. Stay busy. Keep working. Another 15 seconds. Stay with it. Stay with it. We're just getting in those little head movements that we didn't get. We're only short about six of them. Eight, sorry, 12 of them. But uh, we're going to put in that little bit extra just to make sure. Keep going. Keep going. Move the head. Move the head. Punch. Move the head. Punch, punch. Move the head. Build it in. Move the head. Punch. Move the head and punch. Great work. Great work. And time, there it is. Six rounds down, six sections down of focused head movement. Like I said, a lot of us don't really put in enough energy and effort into head movement. So then when we get into sparring, into the fight, and we're using it a lot out of reaction, out of anticipation, because we know we're supposed to, if that's part of our style, but the conditioning isn't really there. It becomes tiring, being taxing, and really takes a lot out of you. We work a lot of the punching and footwork and the head movement sometimes just gets a little bit put in the back burner we think oh well we know it we work a little bit so it'll be there for us but it takes a lot of energy out of the body and the lower back and the legs to work it so this little bit of extra conditioning is to prepare you make you more efficient more effective increase your stamina and your speed and reaction all right great job you guys if you want a bigger challenge make sure to check out the membership that's the join button on the channel Links are down below in the description. I'll leave the links to the head movement workout specifically down below. You were looking at level two, at least level two in the membership to access them. Great job on today's workout. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.